Greetings, hello and everybody, and how are you doing? It is I, JP the Orange Lantern. Long, long overdue for another live stream. It has been forever and a day since I have live streamed. Uh, been almost a month, I think. Something like that. Uh, not by choice. Um, my life has been uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty busy. I won't say chaotic, because chaos implies that uh, I have no control over my life. Um, it's more or less that uh, I've just been very busy. Um, so I'd like to thank each and every single one of you who, um, even if you're not, you know, like, uh, legitimately invested or you don't like, you know, it's just a time killer for you. I still appreciate you all, uh, for watch, excuse me, for watching. It means a lot to me. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, um, gonna continue today uh with some more mass effect andromeda hopefully attempt to finish it today even that would be very nice um i was actually planning on streaming yesterday but i realized that uh the playstation showcase was going on yesterday and uh that i don't think i was gonna draw that many people in with the playstation uh showcase going on not to mention I had some other stuff to do. It was my day off from work, and it sucks that I have to kind of go... It sucks that I have to go back today. But, uh, yeah, I, um, I'm i very appreciative of just having the time and effort, and, I mean, you know, uh, of so many people here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to continue rolling with Mass Effect Andromeda. We're going to try to finish as much of it as we can. And hopefully even, uh, you know, move forward. When we last left off, you know, usually I actually have a pretty good idea with these uh, previously on recap segments of what happened. But uh, now I'm not necessarily 100% sure. Alex... Alex Ennis... Alex Anelson, SP, thank you for the follow. I am doing very well. I appreciate very much your follow. Um, yeah, I mean, I've just been pl I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda f on stream here for quite a while. Uh, I've been playing. I uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I I love to play uh, role playing games. I love to play uh, shooters. I love to play adventure style story driven games. Um, both, uh, on and off stream. So that's what you're going to see on this channel. You're going to, you're going to see a lot more, uh, variety, um, than you would on other channels. And, um, I appreciate your follow. If you know anybody else that is interested in my content, uh, feel free to send them my way. And if you, uh, miss any of my content and want to watch it, I do post my VODs on YouTube. Oh, Alexa, my apologies. Uh, I said Alexa Nelson. There we go. Okay. My apologies. Um, anyways, uh, but yeah, I also post to YouTube under the same name, the same account, uh, or the same name, JP the Orange Lantern. If you miss any of my VODs, uh, you can most definitely check them out on YouTube. So, yes. All right, so... I don't know where we are when we last left off. Um, we are going to uh, take care of the Dissension in the Ranks quest, which, if I'm remembering correctly, is over here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, otherwise, life has been busy with my job and everything, but it has not been boring, so there's that, I guess. And, uh, yeah, after Mass Effect Andromeda is, is done, I don't really know what I'm gonna stream next on, uh, 
I'm going to stream next. Um, I've got no shortage of games to stream. That's for sure. Um, I recently acquired... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Killzone Shadowfall for the PS4. I appreciate the follow on Twitter also. Yes, under the same handle. Um, in the links for Twitter, YouTube, Discord, all that good stuff is in the channel bio if you ever want to give a follow on any of those other platforms. So, yeah, I appreciate that very much. Um, and if you're a streamer yourself, um, I've got no problem giving you uh, some props too. Um, I mean, you know, um, so yeah, I appreciate that. And hopefully, let's see what we can do here. Um, should be able to stream for a good solid two, two and a half hours, give or take, today to get back into things here. I don't know if it'll be enough time to finish this game, but we'll see what we can do here. Um, but yeah, I was just saying, um, I acquired uh, Killzone Shadowfall recently. Uh, I, I acquired... Um, I, I've acquired and yet still have yet to play Atomic Heart, which uh, I'm almost kind of now just determined to kind of wait for the DLC before I play it, because if there's a lot of narrative-driven DLC, I just kind of want to play the whole thing in one go. Am I going to need the... Nomad up here. Well, that's great to hear, um, Alexa. I will definitely keep my eyes peeled. I try to follow back people that follow me, so... Uh, appreciate the support. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I also got the Spyro Reignited trilogy recently, so... Uh, I played... I didn't play the original trilogy so much as I played some of the other... Uh, more recent titles, not Skylanders titles in the Spyro series, so there's that. Um, I also got uh, Soul Hackers 2. I have not played the first one, so I can't attest to what it is, but it's made by the people who did Persona. And it looks like I will have to get the Nomad, so it's annoying for the backtracking. Okay. Please, I welcome any, I welcome feedback and suggestions. Alexa here. Uh, I'm actually just glad I don't have an Alexa in my house right now, because that would be awkward. Okay, let's try this. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to... Okay, you have a good plan, huh? There we go. That's better. The transmission is strong and unobstructed here, Pathfinder. Looks like we found it then. Indeed. Yeah, I'll follow you back on Twitter after the stream, okay? Alexa, um, I do try to focus... Uh, on the Twitch chat and on the games that I play, so no offense. No offense, okay? For your understanding. It's not that I want to, it's not that I am, I, uh, am ignoring you, uh, I just am more focused on trying to, you know, stream here right now. 
Also, it doesn't help that I'm streaming on consoles, so it's not like I have two monitors where I can pull up my Twitter and uh, read my chat and play the game at the same time. So, that also plays into account. What's the clown face for? That's not... That's not very nice. What's all that about there? I, I try to be funny, but I don't think I'm a clown. Ah, you're an animator. Well, that's nice. That's really cool. Recorded messages? Meant to be broadcast to the cat, most likely. What type of uh, animation do you enjoy most? The Archon does not serve Kent interests, only his own. He wastes our time on the Remnant, but keeps all knowledge for himself. These are the acts of a traitor, not true Kent. Yep. Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. Oh, that's Too cool. Bad there's nothing else here. And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Really? Determination is a personality trait. Not a genetic one. Uh -huh. Not that personality is something you understand or have. You That's cool. On pettiness. Uh, VTubers, yeah, I love VTubers. Things. VTubers are very I cool. So um, I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. I, I, I love the too many VTubers to list, honestly. Um, we've worked for. This must end. Like Gargora, I love Hark Haro. Haruka Caribou, Caribou, if I could speak correctly. Um, like uh, Mori Calliope. I like... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I love... Uh, I like smaller uh, VTubers like Fire Rose VR. You know, there's a lot of VTubers that I actually enjoy. Of varying strokes and uh, personalities. And you want to help me. I take it you need my help for this? I am Ket. I do not need help. I would use you as a tool to hasten the Archon's destruction. I need only That's a cool. nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Yeah, exaltation. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. It'll give us an ace in our back pocket. Just make sure the gun's loaded when we use it. Indeed. So, huh. Dissension in the ranks, indeed. Oh, I'll definitely think about it. Um, see, the problem with... Uh, I would love to actually have, like, a VTuber model. The problem is, is I don't... I've said this a couple times on stream. Is that I don't have the most advanced computer... Um, I, I don't have, like, a potato or anything like that. I, I just don't have, like, this massive, like, computer setup. Uh, in part because of my living quarters. I do not have a massive computer setup. So, with that said, um, I, I also primarily, uh, game and stream on console. So I have no idea how a VTuber rigging or setup would work for somebody who primarily games on consoles like myself. So it's always been something I've been intrigued by because it if it means I could do something like be on camera in a way, um, Ascent is go. then I would actually welcome the opportunity because yeah, it would be a great way to clear. engage with viewers 
like I said, the problem is that I'm running basically my setup for uh, PC stuff, PC gaming, and just in general PC rigging is a sturdy, reliable Dell laptop. All systems green. And said laptop is very reliable. It's very good at what it does. It's just not um, meant for hardcore gaming. And so, or, or rigging for a VTuber. So again, I'm just left wondering uh, you know, would it be worth it then? It's, again, it's not that I don't want to or that I'm not intrigued by it. I just, you know, there's, if you're going to invest in something, you got to make sure that you have the right equipment to invest in and the like. So, um, I am interested though in, in finding somebody who could do emotes though. So I'm not going to say right here and now that, you know, uh, I'll do business with you because that would just be uh, rude of me if nothing comes of it. But I am very much interested in the idea of commissioning some emotes from people if at all possible. But again, I'm just randomly babbling at this point. Um, Let's explore these other galaxies here, shall we? Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, yeah. Good to know, Alexa, good to know. Um... Very little signal traffic around. It's pretty remote. I wonder what view of the Milky Way you get out here. Anomaly on sensors. Probably. Anomaly found. But yeah, otherwise, um, one of the things to kind of, yay, uh, one of the things to know about me is that I'm a big fan of sports. I love sports, and uh, got a reading from the asteroid belt. Yeah, that would be actually pretty nice. Um. That'd be pretty nice. I'd appreciate that problem. Um, but anyways, um, the the um, anomaly on sensors. Jeez, how many random random anomalies are there in this the district? Um, a huge mineral deposit. But the um, what was I gonna say? Uh. You know, the other thing about me is I'm a big sports fan. A lot of sports stuff going down. Uh, the good old Green Bay Packers, my favorite sports uh, team, just got the NFL draft for 2025. So that should be very exciting. I doubt I will ever get it. I will get a ticket to see the NFL draft, but it's still uh, pretty cool nonetheless that the Packers will be hosting the draft. Um, I mean... I would much rather, of course, the Packers get the Super Bowl at Lambeau Field, but I know for various reasons that won't happen. Um, both the NHL and NBA playoffs are uh, nearly reaching uh, their crescendo. That's hockey and basketball, for those of you who are non-sports people. It'll be, looks like it's, it's going to be, it's going to be the Denver Nuggets taking on uh, either the Miami Heat or the Boston Celtics, although it's looking very much like the Miami Heat are going to walk away victorious there. Um, meanwhile, Vegas, the Vegas Golden Knights of the NHL are up three to nothing in their series against the Dallas Stars, and the Stars themselves seem to be uh, imploding. And they will be facing the Florida Panthers, and the winner of that series will face the Florida Panthers. And I just went to another area that I've already been to. I think. No, never mind. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it, it does kind of make me chuckle that a non-hockey market, and especially one that finished uh, in the case of the Panthers, they had the worst record of any playoff team in the NHL this year. Finished with the fewest point total, or the lowest point total of any team 
<laughs> in the NHL playoffs. Uh, they just ran through the uh, ran through historically. Pioneer, their first astronaut. It's good to remember these things. Uh, they ran through Anomaly basically defenses. the entire field uh, with little to no effort, Probably. and uh, I mean. Now, granted, of, granted, uh, several teams did give them a challenge, but it honestly was, uh, I would say, a very impressive run by the Panthers. I only kind of wish that Jumbo Joe Thornton was still on the Panthers because then he would have a chance at winning the Cup, and that would be awesome. That would be great, Alexa. Again, I'll talk more to you um, when I get uh, off of, or when I get off stream and when I get uh, time, because I, I am very interested. Um, now, for the record, uh, in future, if you are an artist, um, and this is for people who watch either uh, future VODs or, or watch my VODs and or uh, you're watching in the future, um, just please try not to solicit, uh, creators for, uh, artwork and or, like, banners and stuff like that in the middle of their streams. Like, I'm picking up something. support them, uh, and, you know, your support, your follow, your followship, uh, is, is appreciated. And, and all that stuff. And I appreciate anybody that follows me and everybody that follows me and engages with me during these streams. But, you know, there is a time and a place. And you're fine, Alexa. It's not... This is not directed at you. This is more for future references. This is more for future references uh, of people who, if they watch this VOD or if... You know, things get bigger or whatever. I can reference this point and say, hey, I've said in the past, you know, I appreciate people showing interest in doing art and things like that. But there is, you know, a time and a place. And during my streams is not where I'd like to discuss that kind of business. Um, unless I'm doing like some sort of fan art showcase. But I'd have to get really big for that to even be a thing. And I'm nowhere near that level right now. Maybe I'll get there someday. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'll definitely... For me, this has never been about money or fame. It's been about inter uh, it's been about entertaining people. If I can make a profit off of this, or if I could make money off of this, I can, that is. Um, I will, you know, just for be forever appreciative of it. But if I can't... I'm still going to do it because I do it for entertainment. I do it for connection with people and uh, hoping that they enjoy my personality and enjoy what I play and stuff of that nature. So, yeah. That's really what this is. This channel is kind of more or less about um, both this and my YouTube channel. It's fun and it's nice to share uh, my personality and share some of the games that I enjoy playing or that I have been playing. Anomaly detected. Well, that was convenient. Deploying probe. Get a scan. All right, we're almost done scanning these random star systems that really have no bearing on the plot, but we'll scan them anyways because we can. Anomaly detected. And then we'll, after that, we'll go to Havarl and hope that we can Anomaly. get uh, a, huge mineral deposit. a little bit closer to the end because aside from Havarl, I think then it's just like the main quests that we have to deal with. And then the Rider Family Secrets thing, I think that comes up a little bit uh, later on. I appreciate that, Alexa. I really do. Um, I'd like to think that my streaming style is a lot more 
uh, stream of consciousness, and it's a lot less focused on, uh, you know, having to see me as a player um, to enjoy. I like to try. I like to try that way. Um, I also make no bones about that uh, I am autistic, so that definitely, I think, lends itself to my uh, presentation slash you know, personality or star. I'm not saying that autism makes up my entire personality, but, you know, it definitely kind of can bleed through at times. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, I am doing well. Uh, you know, summer is fine. Uh, summer weather, even though the summer is still technically not here, summer weather is... Uh, here in my in the good land, my home state of Wisconsin, so uh, weather's been absolutely tremendous. Bleeding Ruby. Now there's a name for a planet. There's a name for a band too. Come to think of it. <laughs> also, it's green, so it should be Bleeding Emerald. Just saying. <laughs> I'm picking up something. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Okay. Uh, I really do wish that we had the capabilities of exploring space like this. It's sad because I know it's probably never going to come in our lifetime. And by our lifetime, I mean my lifetime. Like, I'll be dead by the time they even start uh, discussing... Uh, this stuff or making it reality I studied Kindrax's theories a real Turian aeronaut the first to cross the ocean in a balloon on Paladin? Brave soul there aren't many soft places to land yeah and in a hot air answers. balloon probes launched Detecting what's left of a ship. All right. Um, well, hey, Clippers, I'm going to give you something to actually... Uh clip and something that uh you can definitely use yourself alexa if you want uh this is ordinarily a channel redeem but i'm feeling pretty good today and i'm feeling pretty generous so just give me a second here i'm trying to i'm going to try to formulate something here for you <clears throat> behold one of my channel redeems hurricanes man aka sports announcer man if you will with a bit of a self-hype up and promotion for you. Greetings, everybody! Welcome to the stream! By the way, I totally think that you should check out Alexa Nelson. She really rocks the, those VTuber models and all those banner designs and emotes. If you really, 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 really want quality yet independent designs, please, for the love of God, check out her streams and her art. And her channel. So that's kind of an example of Hurricanes Man. Uh, that's one of the redeems. It's just a, a kind of a goofy, over-the-top sports announcer voice uh, where I will uh, self-promote you or something that you want. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to be self-promotion uh, or, or promotion of you. Um, I can also... Uh, say something in the goofy voice that you think would be funny, provided it's TOS, of course, or within TOS. Um, but yeah, uh, that's one of my uh, channel point redeems here on the channel. Uh, yeah, it's worth 2,000 uh, channel points. Uh, I know that not everybody watches the stream, so I might decrease that to being a little more uh, cheap, I should say, of a channel redeem. But, uh, 
And like I said, that's the first time I've ever done that on the channel, so that might that was a little bit rocky and a little bit rough. Uh, but that's just kind of a sample of what it is. Um, so if you want to clip that and use that uh, for your channel or whatever uh, for promotion on your stuff, uh, you have my blessing to do so. Um, so yeah. Deploying probe. Found. It's actually kind of nice to actually do that because I've been waiting for the moment to do that one. So it's kind of nice to have something for it. Uh, but yeah. Oh, jeez. James Cameron's planning on writing yet another Terminator movie. For the love of God, the last couple Terminators were mediocre at best and sucked at worst. You want to know how bad it's gotten for the Terminator franchise? The one video game that they did recently, Terminator Resistance, that was made by the people that made the Rambo video game of 2014, Infamy, that... That was a better representation and story of the Terminator franchise or for the Terminator franchise than anything post-Terminator. Well, I was going to say Terminator 2 because most people have said, most people say that nothing past Terminator 2 in the two Terminator franchise has been any good. I'm one of those people that doesn't hate Terminator 3. Um, it's very flawed. But I don't see it as Alien 3, where it was, like, the super bad. The light of this cluster is so um. different. Maybe the group is absorbing certain wave plans. Does it ever get anything back? And only on sensors. And I mean, oh, sincerely, by the way, uh, by the way, I do not hate Terminator 3. I thought it was okay. Uh, definitely not the best of the trilogy, by any stretch of the imagination. But I think you could do a lot worse than Terminator 3 in regards to sci-fi movies. Now, everything else beyond that... Eh, I mean, the special effects have been kind of neat in some of the Terminator movies uh, that followed, that followed uh, Terminator uh, 3. But, I mean, that's not really uh, a saying too much. And again, that's not even really so much praise as it is, well, I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, things do get better, uh, or could get better, but they also could get way worse, and the Terminator franchise is a prime example of that. And again, like I said, it's not like Alien 3 level bad, where it's like, oh my god, what the hell were they thinking? Um... Then again, I'm one of those uh, weirdos who actually enjoys uh, Alien Resurrection, uh, Alien Covenant, and The Predator. Um, although I will say this, uh, I do not care for Prometheus. <laughs> that movie sucked. Uh, it just—it was just too long, too. Like the, it didn't feel like an Aliens film, and it was just too long. Whereas, kind of like Alien Covenant's biggest crime, to kind of go into the movie uh, sphere for a second, is Alien Covenant's biggest crime, in my opinion, was that the characters were stupid. Uh, were too stupid. Um, but the actual, like, xenomorphs and, like, the aliens themselves, they were actually pretty cool and pretty creepy uh, and how they handled them was pretty pretty cool so yeah I don't know I'm usually not that hard on movies as long as movies can keep me awake uh, the same kind of goes with television um, I did by the way finish the original series uh, the original Twin Peaks series recently and I gotta say uh, I really really enjoyed uh 
Twin Peaks a lot. Uh, it was it was really cool. Uh, it's, it's definitely one of those things where you kind of have to... Um, where you definitely have to be uh, somebody who is willing to go for a ride and it doesn't always make uh, the most sense. Entering atmosphere, LZ But it is very fun and very uh, awesome. Um, so, yeah. Um... Let's see, another thing here. Uh, let's see, another thing here. Um, while I'm on board. Uh, oh yeah, Alan Wake 2 is coming out uh, in October. Two thoughts. Number one, extremely excited. Number two, uh, because I love uh, I love Remedy's games and I love I love Remedy's games. Remedy, their games are awesome. I love them anyways. Always have. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for it, and I'm excited for the sequel to Alan Wake because a lot was left um, was left out in the open. However, I am not gonna tiptoe around the fact that I am not crazy. Excuse me. I am not crazy about the fact that they are that it's going to be only on modern consoles which um basically just signifies to me that I need to get a PS4 or a PS5 sooner or, or not not a PS4 or a PS5 an Xbox Series X or a PS5 sooner rather than later. It also signifies, at least to me, that um, I really, uh, that things are going to get a little um, more kind of dire in the sense of having to not only upgrade the consoles that I'm playing the games on, but the fight, the ever-growing fight to uh, play games the way that I enjoy them and own them the way that I enjoy them is once again under threat um, because Alan Wake 2 is one of the many games these days that is going exclusively digital. And I've got no problem with digital games overall. Um, if anything... Some kind of aqueduct? If anything, my problem with the digitalization of games is that it ignores what gamers are uh, and how much they enjoy stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I get it. PC gaming. You don't really own PC games. It's possible we could discover something new from what you found. We should take it for further analysis. Um, I know for a fact that PC games, they are uh, very much... PC games are very much digital exclusive for a reason nowadays. Although I do miss the uh, I do miss the days where you used to be able to like buy a box and own games for PC. It was a, a fun time for me personally. Even though I never gamed on PC as much as I did on consoles, even back in the day. I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like. Um, it just makes me sad. Like, I really, really do not like the idea or the fact that you have... That you have so many games, and especially ones that are... Uh, you know games that became cult classics or massive franchises. This this is so sad, especially because Remedy is one of those companies that I think of when I... That, 
when I think of somebody that uh, cares about the uh, the gamer and the the market, I think of them because Remedy is. I often think that you know kind of game design team. But <sighs> I can only hope that the massive fan backlash will get them to change their mind because I would Those are the coordinates we were sent. You mean that tip off about the Solarian Arc? Let's stay sharp. There's cat all over. Yep, it's a trap. It's a trap. Um because I will still end up playing Alan Wake 2 um, eventually, uh, whether whether it will be launch day or whether it will be after I get uh, the Xbox, uh, an Xbox uh, Series X console, like, later in, like, in a little while, like, later on. Okay, no more following anonymous tip-offs. Let's look around. They might have left something. Uh, that, you know, remains to be determined because there are a lot of games that are coming out for the PS... or that have come out for and that are going to come out for the PS5 and Xbox Series X that I'm actually looking forward to. And, um... I don't know. I do want to play those games, even though I've got more than enough games to tide me over and keep me busy for, like, you know, years and not near. But I would still like to uh, have or to experience those games at some point. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. There's so many things I want to do in life, but isn't that always the case? And when it comes to games, too, you know, it's like, there's so many things you want to do, but you don't always necessarily get the chance to do them all. Capture gear. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Mm. Probably me. Sorry about that. Ah. If you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. Really? You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. <clears throat> Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. Uh-huh. What's STG? Solarian Task Group. Special Tasks Group. Back oh. home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled inconveniences. The Solarian Union's fixers. Mm-hmm. If you prefer. As I said, these days, I stick with retiree. Good for you. A lot of people came to Andromeda for a fresh start. I'm sure I'll enjoy mine when I find it. <laughs> Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect ah. is a biologist, Dr. Adden, but the evidence is thin. I'm ah. a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Right. Who's Adden? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. Hmm. As for why, I intend to ask him. Why not ask Hager? Couldn't Hager help you with this? Hager's too green to be corrupt, but his team's another story. You're obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. That's true. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adam's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. Oh, if okay. If Adam's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. Okay. What will have? What if we can't prove it? What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adam? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember, Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to okay. be tight. Good luck. Huh. All right, here we go. Ooh, Ball New Vegas is uh, free on the Epic Game Store until uh, June 1st. Uh, if you have never played Fallout New Vegas and you're a PC gamer, totally recommend that you play uh, Fallout New Vegas and you have an Epic uh, Games Store account. There's no excuse not to. 
It's an awesome game, as you've seen me attest and show you on stream. <laughs> so yeah, we'll help the Solarian Truth and Trespass thing. And then after that, I think we'll move forward with the main story. Because the only other uh, quest that we have Overall, is the one regarding, well, not the main quest, I should say, Roger. but the only other one that we have that I could actually um, look into is... Is if not the um, or is the Ryder family history? But I don't have the ability to do so. I think I've finished most of the other quests, aside from defeating that damned architect on Eldin, which I'm not going to do. I just do not care. So yeah. See how long my batteries left on my controller, too, because it did just tell me that I had, uh, that I needed to replace my batteries, which... Yeah. Hmm. Beginning approach. Well. So yeah, we'll see. Bold orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. That's an enormous ice cube. You're just noticing this now? <laughs> How many times have we been to Vold here? Okay, so we'll do the scan for evidence first. In the open field here. to do something later? Pillow hmm. fight? Shooting cans? Coco and secrets? Eh, forget I asked. I've got messages from Director Tan that I don't want to deal with. Could use some creative help in making them disappear? Hmm. Small. Let's make Director Tan disappear. <laughs> Signals detected ahead, Pathfinder. I mean, that would be funny because... Director Tan can be considered kind of a douche, but... Let's get a scan. Uh-oh. Let's get a scan. Yeah, I know. That's not where my... The area is. Although I'll probably end up having to go back there. Uh... We're all clear. Uh... That STG agent was right. This cat was Dr. Adam's contact. 
Damn. All right. Uh, oh crap. Oh, we still have to deal with life support apparently on bold. I forgot. Because it's an ice cube, you know. Ah. Suck it. Come on. Alright. There you are. Oh, so now he went up there. Grr. Come on. There you are. Okay, uh... Let's get a scan. Uh... Hey... Hmm... Oh. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Uh, okay, let's get a scan, but where? Oh. This cat has a Milky Way comm device implanted. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Hmm. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian arc. We've still got the other lead. Adam's equipment. Indeed. Let us figure it out. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Oh man, two more weeks until we see more uh more uh gameplay from Alan Wake 2. But yeah, that and the system Cold, shock. Dark. I couldn't stand it. That and the system shock the remake are uh, two games that are coming out later this year that I'm still very much interested in. That I want to play for sure right away. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Uh-oh. Yeah, more frame rate drops. That's always fun. Messages that don't really mean anything to us. This must be Dr. Adams' workspace, the one the SDG agent is investigating. You, the Pathfinder. Is it true? Can you talk to the old machines? Huh. You mean the Remnant? Uh-huh. I'm no threat to them. Never have been. Tell them to stop hurting me. 
Why are they attacking? Why would the remnant come after you? I dig for useful things around the pillars. Good tech. Machines always left me alone until now. Huh. Did they injure you or just chase you off? They chased me and I slipped on the ice. That hurt. Hmm. <laughs> I'd like to help, but... You were misinformed. I can't actually talk to the remnant. Even if I could, I don't think they'd listen. Well, good are you then? Thanks for nothing. Aw, well, I'm sorry. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Hmm. Or they could be leftovers from Adam's experiments. Both of these leads seem circumstantial. Nothing proves Adam betrayed the Ark. Yeah, it's pretty thin. What about Hager back on the Nexus? We could ask if he knows anything. That works. Alrighty then. Welcome back. Yeah, let's just check the emails here just to make sure. No, nope. okay. To the Nexus. Away! Bold orbit is steady. All right. Huh. You know, it is kind of funny that it's been nearly 13 years since Alan Wake 2 has come out. It took nearly 13 years for Deadly Premonition 2 to come out. And I still am waiting for Deadly Premonition 2 to be ported onto a non-PC uh, console. That would be kind of nice. Because I love both games. Both, both games were, uh, you know, trailblazers for their time. 
and I really would like and uh, and again uh, the things like the evil within uh, too uh, that was another thing where like I actually really liked both evil within games so I don't necessarily think that horror is like a genre that I favorite or anything like that but it's definitely one that I enjoy <clears throat> So yeah. There's a welcome bit of good news after so many lives lost out here. This is Asia Chat. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. All right. Ah, Ryder. Grab a seat. So, yes, after that, the catch tightens security. I've only just oh. got back. They must be afraid you're close to figuring out excitation. Ah. A comforting thought. You're doing good it's work. It's satisfying to wipe that smug look off cat faces. I meant to thank you for the star maps. Ah. Oh, of course. I'll be charting the Scourge for a while, though Ryder's data from the vaults is helping. I'll send you our latest. Hey, teamwork! I'll take a copy as well. Anything to expand the search. Teamwork! Rate. You're still looking for stasis pots? And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I Teamwork. guess I need to train a successor and figure out how to prepare them. I don't think this is a job you can prepare for. You live it and do your best. I agree. There's only one way to find out what kind of Pathfinder you are. <laughs> guess so. For now, friends, I need your help. The first wine bottled in Andromeda sent back to the Nexus. A well, good thing I brought my flask. Damn, that smells good. Seemed worthy of our first proper meeting together. If we have a toast. To good to our crews, our Sams, and each other. May we always find our path home. Yay, that was kind of cool, actually. I liked that. Anyways. Ah, Ryder. Your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an investigation into Dr. Adin. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adam, but sort of stalled. What's your take on all this? What do you make of Salem's theory that someone betrayed your people? It doesn't seem possible, but there's so much that doesn't fit otherwise. Uh -huh. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. Hmm. I had an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Can we risk anything shady? We need any findings to be bulletproof. I trust you not to get caught. Ah, those okay. Rand Lawn has an apartment here. <clears throat> if he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just see what's there. Okay. <laughs> Will do. All right. <sighs> Superintendent. A violent illness related to cherry like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities baffled. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is HNS.
<sighs> but yeah, um, otherwise, life has been kind of busy for me. I've been just trying to keep my head above water here. Uh, can't really, uh, you know, complain, I guess, too terribly much except for not being able to play games as much as I used to. So, yeah. Locked. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. So, yeah. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Hager mentioned. How can you figure? It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of nevetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some endometrial wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Okay. Password protected. It'll help, Sam. Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the huh. AM signature suggests the state it was recently cleaned. Hmm. Yeah, that's totally not suspicious. Under the floorboards. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the sky's radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lawn, or someone in his apartment, when exploring out there. Okay, something's fishy. Sam, can you work out which planet the dust on the floor came from? I have a candidate. No record of any official visit. Once in orbit, I can approximate an earth point. Ain't that convenient. Cost benefit assessment, invitation, prescription refill. Okay. All pretty boring stuff. And we get jumped. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lawn. Yes. You're the one who saved our arm. What are you doing here? I'm conducting an investigation about the Solarian Arc. I wanted to check a few things. Huh. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose mm -hmm. I'll have to make the time. What do you need? Uh, do you know a doctor? I'd like to ask Dr. Adden a few questions. Do you know him or where he is? Oh, yes. Adden's some sort of biologist. We were among the first to wake up. Difficult times. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him since the Ark was rescued. Why Adden? Salen Varn mentioned. Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, nope, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. There's obviously been some misunderstanding. Goodbye. Please don't touch anything else on your way out. Still got that planet identified? All right, here we go. Welcome back. Yep. All right. Back to Eladin. I mean, I guess some of the other things to note is that since I last streamed, uh, 
there have been the passing of quite a few iconic figures of pop culture, ranging and varying from the likes of football player and civil activist and actor Jim, uh, Jim, uh, Jim Brown of the Cleveland Browns. Um, at one point, the NFL's all-time leading rusher uh, passed away in his 80s. Uh, Tina Turner passed away at 83 recently. Um, just yesterday, in fact, it was reported. Um, and Gordy Lightfoot, a Canadian folk singer, passed away a couple weeks ago also. Um, you know, unfortunately, the world continues to, you know, turn and, um... It's, you know, sometimes sad, but... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we going now? Oh, boy. All the way to the far edge of the map, I see, eh? <clears throat> well, nothing else will be able to finish Truth and Trespass. Whether we'll be able to actually finish... The next main mission or not remains to be uh, determined. Although maybe I'm overthinking it and it won't take that long. So we'll see. Sorry to double check the map. I don't think I've ever seen this much sand in my life. That's a good thing. Yeah, I know. The architects here. I'm not even going to bother with them. See if we can find it. Scavengers. Might be trouble. The trail leads right to them. Well, ain't that a typical coincidence? All right, you rapscallions. I don't know what you're look what you're up to, but it's nothing good. Wow. 
wait. Is that Salen? The lock. Yeah, it's... Barely. Pass the metagel. Let's get him back on his feet. Well, we will after we take care of these guys. to you. Salem? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. You're sure he's okay? I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, <clears throat> he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salem you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait. He, oh, damn it. He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those oh, messages shit. were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. Damn Adden it. used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. Damn. I examined an apartment belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lawn. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam huh. didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the nav computer, yet he's obviously guilty. Hmm. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Agreed. Right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him, and I'll bet Rand Lawn has disappeared. Adam. Mm -hmm. Ah. He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Adam. Feign ignorance and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. Okay. Who can you trust? Okay. All right, back to the Tempest. Welcome back. Lord of the Rings is getting another game. Lord of the Rings Gollum, too. I don't recall ever asking for that. More to the point, it kind of just flew under the radar. Like... Was I don't even remember it ever being announced. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, there's there's plenty of things going on right now. There are a couple of other games that I'm excited for this year. Don't know if I'll get to play them anytime soon. And I've heard so many negative things about um, the game Redfall that I am still kind of, excuse me, interested in playing it just for the sake of seeing what it's all about. Because I uh, love vampires and I'm kind of interested 
into uh, what it could be. Uh... I work with Tinkatara. <sighs> All right. I do think we're going to be able to finish this. And then after that... I'll probably be able to start the main mission before I call it a stream here. We'll see. Sliding, sliding all around like there ain't nothing there. You know any good marching songs? My unit used to sing Walking, Talking, Jabura. I've heard that one. Doesn't it have 60 rhymes for azure? 68 plus one. Ah. <laughs> All 
All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. This place is massive. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Hey, oh, of course. I'm always cautious. Look at the size of those stalactites. It'd take hundreds of years to get that big. Uh huh. So who's the truth? Who's true and who's telling the lie? There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? So it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. No arguments Selling your Ark to the Ket makes no logical or tactical sense. To you, because you lack data. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found huh. the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Really? Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets, so one day we could destroy them along with their exaltation. Huh. You pretended to be Ket allies so you could study them. Then stab them in the back. Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All powerful uh -huh. conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We have to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. Let the other Solarians take a swing at him first. Uh -huh. Arrest me, and you'll never find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? I owe you big for this rider. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a devil's bargain. Okay. So now, where do we have to go? Do we have to go back to the Nexus? Rider. Mm hmm. All right. No orbiting Gazara. All right. Uh. I guess we gotta go back to the Nexus. Yeah. 
Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. No, okay, that wasn't it then. Oh, it's... Foolish me, some Tempest. I've got to integrate the machine. <sighs> Silly me. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian, then. I'll call a meeting immediately. Hooray! Pathfinder, As you have we... pending vid calls. Yep. As we approach the end. The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time. But we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults <laughs> won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just mm -hmm. to clarify, you're defying a direct order? No, yeah. not me. We. We are going to defy them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Hmm. And the kit? That's where the ghost storm technology <clears> is in. <throat> Isn't that right, Hager? Exactly. Our forged signals should divert some cat from you. It won't hmm. be all of them, but it'll be enough. The tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. Mm -hmm. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. Mm hmm And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back hmm. with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like mm -hmm. a solid plan, team. Hager, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> this is it. Let's get moving. Woohoo! All right. Maybe bone up on the uniform protocol, Liam. Subsection shirts. Civilian ship. What will they do? Dop our pay? We get paid. Why? You buy 
right next time we go to Ghidorah? <laughs> Are you kidding? You should see my tab. <laughs> nice. Alright, so we'll start this mission. Probably won't end up Anything finishing I can it. Help with? I should get sounds. Yeah, we'll start this mission, but we won't end up finishing it. Probably. As we approach the end of the game. If the Archon's information is right, this is the system. Meridian should be here somewhere. Indeed. First, we check out the ancillary systems here. Mm-hmm. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. We'll see how far we get through this. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. Yeah, we'll see how far we get through this. Because I do want to try and finish it, but <sighs> that's it. That's Meridian. Or key to zero, as the cat called it. Looks like a giant space station. No, you don't say. All right. Squad, switch to Cor PB and Drac. Uh, yep. Initiating ghost storm on my mark. Three, two, go. Nice. Nice. Hager. Stealth. It's working. Reading Stealth. a bunch of cat headed our way. Pulling back. It's all on you now, Tempest. We should get them as close as possible to here. Intense readings could be some kind of control center. No decent landing sites. This could get messy. How messy? Ryder. Looks like a flyby is our only option. I'll get as low as possible, but you'll have to eject over the target area. Yep. This is our one shot. We have to take the risk. You've fallen out of things before, right? Just don't scream too loud on the way down. It's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. Watch your rate of descent. Shields should take care of the rest. 
Thanks, Gil. So far, so good. The cat haven't detected us. But once we go in, we'll be clear as day to any troops on the ground. Just be Don't careful. Don't worry about us. Just make sure you and the Tempest get out safe. Loud and clear. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh. <sighs> In space. Everyone okay? I think I bumped my head, but I'm good. We'll need to survey the area. Figure out what we're dealing with. I am detecting active conduits nearby. Your scanner should be picking them up. It's Yay. raining. Great. Should have got the tempest to drop us over there. Sigh. <laughs> Also, once again, cut off the dialogue in regards to rain, which kind of feels so important. While interacting with that console, I detected the presence of a complex network connected via a central command hub. A hub? You mean we found Meridian's controls? Most likely, however, the hub is dark, deactivated. Of course it would be. If they don't need it, they wouldn't exactly allow us to just waltz right in. <clears throat> See what Meridian's all about? We can start by finding a central hub. Well, that not getting shot. Pathfinder, we are looking at the central command hub I detected earlier. Hub is connected to the two neighboring towers. Of course it is. Can't just be a singular. So activating the towers will also activate the command hub. So we could bring Meridian online right now? Forget scouting, let's do that. Cat won't like that. Activating a vault has previously activated a purification field. Perhaps Meridian is similar. Let's head to those towers and see what we can find. Hmm. Pathfinder, All interfacing right. with that console has activated a gravity well. Okay. Look at that. Pathfinder, I'm picking up radio interference, a cat signal. Alert! The detected signal was a decoy. Not a chance they're getting you, kid. Glad you're confident in me, Drac. Uh, yep. Let's ride. Head above us. We're completely open. What else is new? <laughs> Again, unfortunately, the dialogue got cut off. That sucks. Which way should we head? Yeah. 
Oh, wherever we had the remnants are helping us out, so there's that, I guess. Right, so, uh, command hub. Probably need to check out those other two towers first. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm assuming we go this way? Sam, what do you think? Intense vortexes of surge energy. I would stay clear if I were you, Pathfinder. Good to know. Ugh, looks kind of gross, doesn't it? Detecting high levels of surge energy. Be careful. Red Duly noted. The cat hard. Probably deserves it. Oh, that was almost very bad. Whoa. Hey, now. Now this is a fight. Yeah, Drac, it sure is. It sure is, old buddy, old pal. Shooting part. Huh. Hey, that looks like a remnant console we could use. Hmm. How long have the cat been squatting here? Long enough, I imagine. Indeed. Ground zero, I'm guessing. Pathfinder. It appears the energy waves from these craters contributed to the scourge throughout Helios. So whatever happened here caused the scourge to erupt all across the cluster. Yes, Pathfinder. Huh. So okay. the remnant builders messed up somehow. Or someone attacked them with it. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. That don't you think? Familiar? We've been here before, right? No. Maybe I'm thinking of that pillar. Don't. Oh, crap. Freaking turret. around defending ourselves from cats would be nice to take right. our time and really look at this stuff ha <laughs> sure it would be pv sure it would be. Hmm. <clears throat> look at all this remnant stuff it's like my birthday Detecting low levels of power, Pathfinder. A scan may help identify conduits. Uh huh. On my way. I see the conduits. Some kind of pattern here. Okay, do we have to go back out? I think we have to go back out. <sighs> no. 
air. Ow. <sighs> Come on. Oh, crap. Ah. Uh. Wait a minute. Where am I going? Okay, so never mind. I I was going the this right way. Labyrinth. You sure we haven't been this way before? Yeah, no kidding. Ah. Okay. I had it right the first time. <sighs> Stupid thing. Uh, probably had to activate the console to see what I needed. Yeah, because it's not there. Maybe it's beyond here. Wow, I think that's right. Will it even work? Come on, I'm sure some of this stuff's still okay. Damage to pulse the system, preventing power up. Can we reroute past the damage? That may work, Pathfinder. Huh. Boosting trace signals. Okay. Some kind of glyph on this thing. It matches the pattern on the main console. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, what pattern? Okay. So... Sorry about that, uh, batteries ran out on the controller, so I had to insert some new ones. Okay, so the real question then is, do I have, does it have Let's to be in a specific the order? All the damage. Excellent. Shoot. That triggered remnant defenses, Pathfinder. Rack! Okay, so you do have to do it in the right order. Great. Must have messed up the power reroute. Need to follow the pattern. Okay. Uh, ah, damn it. Stupid water. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, it doesn't tell you exactly which one you got to go through first. Okay, so that one, maybe? So far, so good. Okay, there's only so many combinations that can be. It's honestly just trial and error. That's not right. Incoming hostile. Ah! 
Well, there's only so many things that it can be. Eventually. Well, not that. Gotta make sure the pattern's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. So far, so good. <sighs> nice. Because if I was a game designer, I'd probably zigzag it over. Maybe do more of that. Yeah. Well, we got it. You think that's it? The primary console should work now, Pathfinder. Yay! Woohoo! Original repairs are complete, Pathfinder. Only one way to know for sure. Translating. Flight control systems online. Welcome, administrator. I have a bad I feeling. Like this. We should get out of here. Restoring the systems appears to have reactivated something else nearby. I can see that, Sam, and I don't think it's good. We've seen only no longer derelict. Translating exploration vessels on standby. Hmm. We have seen Revan ships, but not in working condition. It says it cannot retrieve cars from the Meridian engine. Huh. Meridian engine. Sam, do you know what? Uh -oh. Trouble. Well, there we go. Restoring power. Welcome to Remnant. What did you expect? It detects a surge of energy on the scans to the sanctuary in the Oh, God, my uh wolves. -huh. Sure, already brought the first jazz, but they're not even shot at. What's going on? Are you even TV knows it? I hate these giants. Another one. Yes. Security's down. We're good here. The cat are probably waiting out there for us, so stay alert. Gotcha. Uh huh. No kidding. 
<sighs> All right, so I go a little bit further, a little bit longer. <clears throat> Probably won't be able to finish this. Huh. All right. Oh, last level up for the side care for my companions. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or not. Wow. When it's all turned on, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? One more tower to go before the hub powers up. Yep. Yeah, except not entirely true. Let's see, can we even go this way? This thing might help the cat somehow. The Archon's forces have been here for years. We're gonna have to jump this. Once again, I unfortunately cut off some uh, exposition dialogue, which I don't ever try to do. It's not against us, which is nice. All right. One tower left. Yep. Whoa. Plants. Born with love this. Yeah. Focus Real question is what the other. Real question is what in the hell would uh machines need with plants? I mean, other than to study. Arg. Uh. Oh. I thought I could just drop straight down, but nope. Head down below. Let's, Let's light take. Up. Yep, and take control of one of the turrets while we're at it. Make the remnant work for us. <laughs> Hoorah! That's a lot of cat equipment. Looks like they set up camp. Mm. Indeed. <clears throat> I detect working remnant technology. We could turn that against them. Yep. Let's find turret controls and make it so. Oh. 
crap. Aha! turrets so oh we could control shields that's that would be great if I wasn't so high level at this point in the game oh sorry Drac Oh, come on! I wasn't planning on it. it. Just showed up that way. Ugh. I think that's the last oh. of them. For now. gonna guess another puzzle revolving turning on the power this shit just gets weirder and weirder yes pretty dark in here uh oh Oh, maybe I did the puzzle-oriented one first. What the hell? Translating. Pattern 1-3. Viability, 56.2%. Oh, Genetic template transmitted for testing. Were they performing experiments on them? Crap. Running an analysis on the glyphs. <clears throat> These bodies are prototypes from genetic blueprints, each more refined than the last. Using Meridian, they designed a species that would live in this cluster. The Angaran are manufactured. The Angara. They created... life? Then everything we've seen... We were just scratching the surface. This won't change the Angara, though. Where they come from doesn't change who the Angara are now. They're still the same people. So Meridian uh -huh. is not just about terraforming. It's capable of creating life. But why do something like this? I can say nothing about the Remnant Builder's ultimate purpose. Uh -huh. They created life. The Archon could twist that around. Destroy life. Meridian shouldn't tech. be a weapon. The builders intended Meridian to do great things. To advance science, not be used as a weapon. But the system uh -huh. still has destructive capabilities. Uh-huh. We'd better get to those controls. Not a surprise. Alright. If we crack Meridian's controls first, we make sure the Archon can't use it. That's freaky. Jal needs to be told about the Angara. What will you learn? I know. We'll tell Jal and let him decide how to spread the news to his people. Those observers weren't here before, were they? You activated the remnant systems here, Pathfinder. They are likely resuming their duties. Oh, of course. Because, you know, why the hell not? Uh, okay, so we can't go out this door? We go out this door? Yeah, we go out this door. The Archon knows about the Angara. That's gotta be... Command hub will be open now. 
All right, two towers going. Should get us into Meridian's main control room. Sorry, it's just it's just really annoying that you have to keep uh you actually have to stop to let dialogue play out. It would seem in this case. It's also, on. we're doing it. Hey, that pool's gone. There was something down there the whole time. This was what it was like before everything got messed up. It's pretty impressive. Also, yeah, that, I guess that means that the, uh, the quote-unquote water is, or ooze is actually, uh, is actually like some, if not blood in, of the circuitry, it's something else. Um, but yeah, that, I always thought that that was one of the cooler elements that they introduced in this game. It's just kind of a shame that with the Angaran and stuff, that it took as long as it did for such an element to be introduced. Just saying. Oh, Drock. Yeah, we gotta take care of the, we gotta take care of the cannon fodder first. Can't hold out much longer. Are you sure about that? Because I'm doing just fine. Yep. I'm holding out just fine, guys. I don't know about you. It only takes two. Keep it up! We take them down, we take Meridian! Yeah. I think we got only them uh only takes two rounds now with my powers upgraded as they are. Oh <clears throat> excuse me. I might actually finish this after all, we'll see. Gotta be getting close to one of those towers. We need to activate both to reach Meridian's core. I know. I've done that already. Studying this place. Damn it, Kent beat us here. We did the work. They don't get to reap the benefits. Ah, uh, crap. Hey, uh, Fiend, you gonna turn around? Or did we actually beat the Kent to the spawn point? That'd be kind of hilarious. I think we did beat the Kent to the spawn point. TV. Especially when one of them's a destroyer. Ah. So yeah, I think I'm going to end up finishing this fight and then I'll probably end up calling it a stream because I'll be kind of short on time and if, I, and if I do get into any more big battles, I won't be able to finish them. So yeah, I'll definitely finish this though. This fight. And we can leave the, the secrets of Meridian untapped for now. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Come on. How many more you are there? Okay. And that actually is going to be a perfect place to stop. All right. So with that in mind, uh, I'd like to say so long. See you later. Goodbye. Thank you for joining, for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the ride. I uh, hope you got what you wanted and at least some entertainment out of it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I don't know when I will stream again, but this will not uh, be goodbye. This will be simply see you later. Uh, please hang tight for a raid, and I hope you all stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane, and peace out from JP the Orange Lantern.